This video is from my free Google Ad mini course that I just posted a couple weeks ago. And in this specific video, I will talk about only keywords and I will explain to you what they are, what positive and negative keywords are, and also what's the difference between search terms and keywords, how to make sure that your keywords, they actually overlap with the most important search terms. And also I will explain to you different uh, keyword match types and how you can build out your Google Ad account strategy based on the most important keyword groups. So if you want to learn these, stick to the end of this video and now let's jump to my computer. Okay, so keywords, search terms and match types. So before we jump into the more tutorial part of this uh, course, I want to talk about keywords, what they are and how they are different than search terms, what is bidding and also what are different match types that you need to be aware of. So uh, we need to start with the definition otherwise you will not fully understand how to set up your Google ad and how to optimize it. So basically uh, what is a keyword? So keyword is simply the word that you can target in your Google ads campaign. Uh, women training shoes is a keyword so you can target this. Search terms are those words basically those terms that people they type in when they Google for something when they search for something and uh, this can be different than your keyword so it can contain your keyword or maybe it doesn't contain your keyword but basically you know they type in whatever they want as a search term in Google and ideally your keyword is uh, is consisted by that search term. So um, here's an example, user, the user search term might be best leak detection company in Southwest London. So this is a really specific search term. Obviously, if you have a big problem, you want a fast solution. So probably you will type in something like this, like a very long tail keyword. Uh, and then you can target the keyword leak detection in London or leak detection. So you can use much shorter keywords and because the search term contains your keyword then uh, most likely they can uh, find you through Google Ads. So this is why it's just important to know the difference between the two because uh, it will also lead us later to the match types and why those are important. So keywords are what target, search term is what the user actually type. Okay so how they work together. So probably now you understand when uh, your ad gets triggered then uh, it depends what the user types into Google and if it matches with the keywords that you've set up in your campaign earlier. So here's the example I showed you before and uh, yeah so it's just important to understand. Now I will jump to the next point which is bidding in uh, Google Ads. Uh, you want to understand this because the whole Google Ads platform is about this so we use these keywords we try to optimize for the search terms of the user but bidding is important. So what will decide if you show up as an ad in front of the ideal user is not just the search term and the keyword, but as we discussed earlier, your quality score, which affects your, uh, your uh, cost per click, but also bidding is one of the most important factors. So bidding is basically a process of determining who, how much you are willing to pay for a click or other interaction with your ad. So basically, there are these different keywords that you can bid for you have different competitors and basically there is an auction in the Google Ads system for that specific keyword and the better quality score you have and the more you are okay to bid for to get one click the more likely you will be shown by Google so basically bidding affects your ad placement so not only if you will show up but you will show up in position one position two or only position three and below and then also budget control so this affects the whole economics of your Google Ads the ROI that you have the cost per acquisition that you target all of these numbers and of course because you have competitors in most industries facts uh, you can beat your competitors so you also want to understand what types of bidding exist in uh, the Google Ads ecosystem there are two big types one is manual bidding so this is the more ancient one let's say so basically you control the maximum amount you are okay to pay for each click and that is automated bidding where actually Google does this automatically so the auctions happen automatically you have a certain budget and uh, Google meets that budget and uh, 
if you have the budget to bid for that uh, specific keyword and get certain uh, number of clicks, then uh, you can use automated bidding. So what are the pros and cons? So manual bidding, we usually recommend this at the very beginning. You have a greater control over everything. So you can manually set how much you are okay to pay uh, for uh, one click. However, however, it's more time consuming. So once you grow your account, you don't want to do it for all of your keywords because you know it's a very meticulous, uh, time consuming thing. So you want to automate it and uh, actually Google optimize optimize this for you over time. So we typically go with manual bidding at the very beginning and then you can go to automate bidding later on. And there are different types like target CPA, which uh, is basically you can set the cost per acquisition um, that you are okay to pay for. You can also maximize click, you can set target return on ad spend and, uh, and there are even more options, but we will dive into these in a later chapter. So start with manual and later you can automate this once you have more data. Okay, so now I want to talk about the different keyword match types and uh, this is one of the main things uh, of the chapter. So as I said, there are a difference between keywords and search terms and hopefully now, it's under, now you understand the difference. So basically, the main keyword uh, match types, there are three of them, broad match, phrase match, exact match, and you will see some others later on. And uh, this is the visual provided by Google. So basically, uh, and yeah, here you can see the examples. Uh, broad match is something that we rarely use. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of broad match. I don't think people should use this in the industry nowadays. And then uh, that is phrase match, which is our most favorite one. And that is exact match which is also really useful. So as you will see, uh, I also added the link where Google uh, tells more about these different match types. As you can see, when you uh, add different keywords, you can also use some uh, symbols. So this is the symbol of phrase match. So, so you can use these uh, characters um, before and you know after, uh, yeah, at the beginning and the end of the keyword. You can also use the squared bracket and then Google will know that okay it's an exact match that you aim for so this is how the example keyword would look like in that case so starting with broad match keywords so broad match keywords is uh, actually the default for all keywords requiring no special characters so actually Google made this the default uh, you know match type and uh, yeah again it's just the way how Google organizes things in order to spend your money generously so so yeah, that's why it's just good to be educated about Google Ads. So yeah, they want you to overspend. But if you use this, then it's very likely that you will have a lot of irrelevant click and you know, you can uh, gather a lot of data, but uh, honestly, many of this or even most of this is trash. So especially for small accounts, we don't recommend this. So if your keyword is car repairs, possible search terms by users can be how to fix your car. So this is really far from, you know, from this one or car service garage, fix my car. So some of them are relevant, but uh, probably most won't be. So yeah, I think it can be useful once uh, you want to expand into new niches or, or services or you know you want to experiment things but I wouldn't start with broad match keyword and then um, exact match keywords so I put this here as the second that we discussed because this is the complete opposite so here actually the keyword exactly matches with uh, the search term the search term with the keyword so you can use this special character when, when, when you add this keyword into your Google Ads and uh, the keyword let's say car repair so people they can look for car repairs or maybe car repair but that's it so plural or or singular but it doesn't let you or doesn't let users make much many mistakes here or or many changes so maximum control over when your ads appear minimizes irrelevant clicks however you lose a lot of uh, potentially relevant search variations it has limited reach so you can come up with a a huge list of exact match keywords that's one way to do it however I think the best to work with that start with is actually phrase match keyword so this is between the broad match and the exact match and basically here there are uh, variations
was uh, enabled by uh, Google, you know, to be used by your uh, by the users. So, for example, if keyword is car repairs, then Google lets people find you for these search terms: car repairs near me, cheap car repairs, local car repairs. Um, I'm pretty sure if it's only singular, not plural, the repairs, even then you would show up. So this really balances the reach and the relevancy, which is the biggest question for these match types, I think. But uh, yeah, so this is the ideal balance. So that's why we typically go for phrase match keyword, especially with new accounts. May still trigger ads for less relevant searches, but I think this is the best fit, basically. Okay, so after these three, I also want to show you two other things. So one is negative keywords. So it's, it's a possible not only include certain uh, keywords, but you can also exclude them. Them. So basically it prevents ads showing for irrelevant search terms conserving budget and uh, there are those certain keywords that you just you just simply don't want to show up for. So your keyword let's say boiler boiler repair you don't want to show up for boiler repair videos or yeah or uh, you know other keywords. I would add keywords here which are more informational or navigational and less transactional. So ideally you want to target people who want to buy, especially when you have a small account and just starting out, you really want to find those high intent, high converting uh, users of Google. And you want to exclude people who just look for information. So, uh, you know, tutorial videos or, or blog articles. So if somebody types Boiler Reaper, I don't know, blog articles or tutorial videos or, or you know, things like that, you want to exclude those. And this this is where negative keywords come in handy and this is how you can use them. We especially like negative keywords uh, combining with, uh, with phrase match keywords because again here there are still some uh, irrelevant uh, you know uh, searches so that's why we want to use negative keywords here as well. And over time you will see in your uh, report what are the search terms that people use and you will see what are the relevant ones ones and what are the irrelevant ones and you can add the irrelevant ones as negative keywords so that's how you can optimize your account over time hope you enjoyed and even more importantly you learned a lot from this video here at budai media our goal is to help at least 1000 e-commerce businesses grow with high quality marketing because we can see too much shit out there if you like this video make sure that you go down you subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification bell so you get updated of my weekly videos. We collected the top 100 email templates from the past six years and these generated tens of thousands of dollars for our clients. So go down and click the link and get this uh, 100 templates for free. And finally, I will drop you one more video here. Make sure that you check it out as well.